Welcome back to the latest edition of Muhlenberg College Plays of the Week. We begin number 10 with two first-year runners excelling in big events for the men's track and field team at the Armory in New York City. In the 800, freshman David Seal placing fourth in a field of 79 with the 10th fastest time in program history. And in the 400, freshman Christopher Short winning his heat and coming in sixth overall out of 65 runners. At number 9, men's basketball against Swarthmore, first possession of the second half, it's Brandon Goldberg with the block. And then on the ensuing Mule's possession, it's Goldberg finishing the layup through the contact. And one. At number 8, wrestling against the 8th ranked 141 pounder in the Mideast region, freshman Andrew Lineski takes his opponent down in the first period. That would be all Lineski would need for a 4-2 win. And gets the takedown. At number 7, women's basketball with a big win on the road at Franklin and Marshall. And here it's Ava Conley with the rebound and the long pass ahead to Caroline Horst for the layup. At number 6, senior Ricky Kamano won the 133-pound weight class at Lycoming's tournament. He pinned all three of his opponents en route to his second career tournament title. Kamano the only wrestler in the tournament to pin all of his opponents. At number 5 in lane 2, it's senior Sam McDonough. Breaking a 19-year-old school record in the 60-meter hurdles, he finished with a time of 8.70 seconds. At number 4, senior Giovanni Rubino recorded his third career 30-point game in the Mules' home game against Swarthmore. Rubino finishing with 32 points. He scored 27 of the points in the first half alone when he missed only one shot, going 7 of 8 from the field and 11 of 11 from the line. At number 3, back to women's basketball at Franklin and Marshall, and it's junior Rachel Saxton recording 8 steals, the most by a Muhlenberg player in 7 years, to help the Mules force 19 turnovers. And then on offense, less than 2 minutes to go in the game, Mules clinging to a 6 point lead, shot clock winding down, and Saxton hits this tough jumper to clinch the win. At number 2, Ryan Fairchild, ranked 4th in the region at 184, going up against the 3rd ranked 184 pounder in the region, trailing 4-2 in the closing seconds of regulation, takes him down. And then in overtime, it's Fairchild with another takedown for the win. And our number one play of the week, back to the Armory and Meyer Richwine, and we'll let the track announcer take it over from here. This is close. How close though, not in the end. It's lane four. Meyer Richwine from Muhlenberg. A PR for Meyer. 915, the winning time. Very nice. Yes, yes, very nice indeed. That was Rich Ryan winning the hurdles for the third straight meet. She also came in third in the 200 meters with the second fastest time in program history, and she has our number one play of the week. Thanks for watching. Back with more great plays next week. Go Mules!